All right, so I was just recording for about two minutes almost, and I realized I was I had the wrong input, so I was I was just speaking and it wasn't recording, <laughs> which is pretty par for the course here. This is my this is the first recording I'm doing in the aftermath of MovieJeff.com. So I'm gonna post some of this stuff in like video forms on the. It's I'm on Tumblr now. I started a whole new project. Uh, it seems like more work, but it's actually less work for me. And that's, that was the whole impetus. And I, I thought, as I was just talking about, I guess I'll get back into it because I hate repeating myself. But I um, started a new website, Cinema Central 666, and this will be coming out God knows when. And the reason I'm doing a recording, even though I'm, I, stopped the, I stopped podcasting, is that this show, or it's not even a sh- it's the website now, is just sort of my personal movie log. And I'm still be still be using Letterbox and YouTube, blah blah blah. Just but all the other stuff, the, all the bells and whistles of like trying to put out a podcast and worrying about if anyone's listening. It just I just wanted to be done with it and because the whole process of doing it was starting to feel like a job, and I have a job. I got one of those things, so now it's very loosey goosey. I'm gonna try and get weird with it. I'm gonna try and just l- keep logging my movies in on a schedule because I have this calendar that I that I have planned out. Oh, damn straight to the end of the year almost, I guess. Uh, so this will be coming out. In, I'm now mapping this right now. This will be coming out in uh, j- uh, late August <laughs> if all goes to plan. And the, or, and the we haven't been engulfed by fires by then because as, as I'm <laughs> recording this now, the clouds of the Canadian wildfires have, are just starting to recede. Very weird stuff here in New Jersey. We didn't get it as bad as Manhattan and New York did. Uh, but... It was slightly orange. Not, it wasn't as orange, but it was pretty orange, orangey, orangina. But I want to record uh, something for this because I don't feel like writing anything about this season of Yellow Jackets, and I, you know, I just, I just. So sometimes I guess if the moment strikes me, I'll still record some stuff and post it on the Tumblr as like a little video or some sort of audio. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll stop doing this forever. I, you know, there's no, there's no, just, it, it, I'm just counting the movies. You know, I've, this is one thousand, I'm, I'm well over a thousand now. And, uh, this is a still work in some, on some level, but I just want to, I just want to have it be, um, like, I don't know, more fun. I just want to like have fun. I want to have fun with it. So that's what we're trying to do here. And that's all I'm going to try to keep it. I'm feeling a little nauseous and I'm probably low energy today. I'm dealing with some anxiety uh, today, which is, you know, I, I it's future stuff, future events. It's like very much stuff I'm trying to still get a handle on. But my you know, my main symptom is like I get very nauseous when I get ang- anxious. So I feel very like bleh, bleh, right now. So if I sound bleh, bleh, that's why. But I won't get into what's what's troubling me. Maybe I will. Maybe maybe I'll. No, I won't. I'm not going to. Um. <laughs> so yeah, Yellow Jackets season two. Man, I it made me reconsider. I really liked season one. I haven't really listened to that review or reread that review, which I posted um back on. <laughs> I gotta get rid. Of, I gotta get rid of these ads on the old website. Back in July of 2022, so a little over a year ago. Episode 514, if you're keeping track at home, on my old podcast that I did, moviejeff.com. Don't need to talk like that. So part of oh yeah, part of what I was talking about in the original was how I was like, I, want, I just woke up one day and I got sick of recording these or and, and like feeling obligated to do this like it was a job. But it was also like my, my I just hated my voice. I would be like, oh, here's episode blah, blah, blah. And it was just like the podcast voice. It was like so, so dumb. And I just hated doing it. And so I stopped. I'm st- I stopped. I just and it was kind of freeing to just end a project like that. I ended it on episode 800, and uh, it was 1,025 movie reviews. It was, it was some sort of that's not an even number, but eight, you know the the second the second number is not even, but it's still sort of like a nice figure, I guess. 1025. I'm a numbers guy and big numerology guy here. If you didn't know, so anyway, we're still doing. I'm still gonna record some stuff. Because I don't feel like writing anything about this second season, so I was like, let me just record something that'll be like, because this seems like different than, and I'm gonna, that's that's how I'm gonna go forward with this f- project. Cinema Central, six, oh, there you go again with the voice. Cinema Central six six six. It's just a, it's just loosey goosey. It's personal little website I made. 
I think it looks looking nice. It's shaping up. It, 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 I like the platform uh, and Tumblr. I know that's not s something people use anymore, but I like it. it it's it's um, I find it easy to navigate and edit it on your phone, on your web, blah, blah, blah. And uh, some of the stuff's just going to be like literally no reviews. I'll just be like, I watched this movie. Here's what I thought. You know, here's my score. <coughs> anyway. Yellow Jacket, let's talk about it here five minutes in. Jesus Christ. Uh, so this made me, it had me reconsidering how much I loved season one because I didn't think this was that great. It's still sort of fun in a lot of ways, but, I mean, it's um, it's sort of a mess, this show. I mean, it, it's just, uh, it, it's all over the map. It's, it's kooky, and that's fun. The kookiness can be fun, but I'm also just being like, this is, we've so far, in a way, left the kind of realm of, believability on any level and i think the first season tie like at least maybe in the not in, in the current half of the show like the present day stuff it sort of clung a little bit to some believability but now in this this season the the believability aspect of even those present day scenes it was i thought was completely not there it was it was void and then the missing that anchor but there was, it was still like i can't hate it was still like some some fun stuff here um, I do believe that. I do think that it, there's. It's not. It's not a bad show. I'll, I'll keep watching it. It's the mystery aspect of it. I feel. I always call this like the Walking Dead conundrum, where where I was. I watched that show for. I didn't f watch the whole series, but I watched it way past it when it was at quality at all, because I just was like, uh, I gotta figure. I gotta find out what happened, and then I can, kind of that show lost it for me because I stopped questioning why. There was a because that to me is always the most interesting part of a zombie show is like the why 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 is why zombie, what caused zombie, and then it just became about the like living in the moment of the apocalypse, which is I not as interesting to me. And this this show still has that big why like there's a mystery here there's like that the whole like supernatural element which is interesting. Even if it isn't believable, or you know, like that stuff was never tied to reality anyway, so I don't really like it. Doesn't you know? It doesn't bother me too, but too much. Um, I guess to get into spoil, I guess I'll talk spoilers a little. I mean, who cares at this point? Um, if you're listening, <laughs> no one's listening to this anyway. But it it is. Um, you know, there was some fun. There was some fun stuff here. I I, I zoned out episode two to four, and I found myself on my phone a lot. I was very much almost like, do I keep going with this i think it righted the ship uh, ship uh, <laughs> i said that like that uh, a little bit and i got you know even though it got like i said completely over the top and unbelievable it still w i found it i found it a little more entertaining by the by the time it wrapped up everything and i liked some of the additions the characters lauren ambrose plays a modern day um van the van character we so we introduced some there's two new mo present day characters, uh, Lottie, who I don't know the actress who played Lottie. Um, what was her name? What the fuck is it? Why, why isn't she showing up as a main character? Uh, c what? Oh yeah, it's Sim Simon Simone Simone Kessel. Uh, I don't know her at all. She played the Lottie character. And a lot of the mystique of that character was torn down somewhat in this season. And, which is fine. I think, like, they they kind of built her up at the end of the first season, and they definitely did they cut her back down. And the way this the way this ended uh, definitely makes you kind of wonder who, like, it's, a, it's almost like a, a game of, surviving like on some level you feel like oh man are all they're gonna kill off everybody probably and like, someone's gonna be like, one last person standing type thing i kind of have that feeling because that like plays into like the thematic stuff of of what's going on with this whole the wilderness god needs to take us down but i think it's like a, is it just like i don't think he's ever going to be satisfied and in that idea of like is it is it really the supernatural thing or are they just like fucked up from their experience and they kind of created this lore themselves so that stuff's pretty interesting, like the whole like the genesis of like a, a, any kind of religion in on, in a way is like this, the idea of like what did the mystery come first or did the people create the mystery, uh, to deal with certain, you know, just uh, not not being able to understand or process life and its many hardships and in this case, you know, extreme hardships. And you know, 
I was like, th- when when they ended it with uh, oh, this is a, spo- a spoiler, obviously Juliet Lewis's character getting uh, she dies, she gets killed accidentally by um, Christina Ricci's character. Uh, I thought that was there. It was kind of a nice not to not end it with a with a cliffhanger like the first one ended on a pretty major cliffhanger. But then they cut back to the, the past, and then the, 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 there's the fire in the cabin. So I don't really know. I think I think they you have to assume that the coach guy, um, Coach Ben, started that fire to burn these witches alive, right? I guess because he's he just he realizes they're way past staving anyway. I, mean, I think I don't know. I don't know who started the fire. Probably him, because he was off in the little cave that they found, and the magic cave, the life giving cave. Which again, kind of clunky. They kind of thrown together. I don't know. Like that whole thing is like, well, well, okay, what's the cave now? Is this like a cave? The cave under the trees that's secretly warm. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. Uh, obviously, I think that the group back there's gonna find that little dwelling and crash there. You'd have to assume. I also in the final shot there was like there are these secondary characters, and this is a problem. I think that like I didn't watch the show Lost, but I assume that it had dealt with the. Um, similar issues of it like like this because they have all these auxiliary characters like a plane crash where like you have your main cast and then you have to assume that other like there's probably other survivors so they throw in these other s- people at the end and then the final shot when all the c- the girls are outside uh, looking at the f- cabin burning I, I was like trying to pinpoint I was like I thought they're missing one or two of those auxiliary cast members, like, did they die or did they just not get into that final shot? It, was, it seemed like a bit of a, I don't know, maybe I'm nitpicking here. Uh, but a little stuff like that. I think those, and they try to give some of those characters a little bit more to do. And it seems a little forced, um, like, especially like the character that Misty befriends and then kills <laughs> Misty's. Misty's the fun, ca- like, the, the the fun, the most fun characters are the we- the weirdest one, when the, like the weird ones and when they're acting super weird. That's to me, that's when the show is at its peak. And to that end, I thought like Elijah Wood's character was was a great addition. I thought he was very good in that role. It was a funny guy, and, and I think how he played into the ending was was very good. And his role going forward is interesting. Um, a little forced, kind of how his conclu- like how he kind of wrapped up the the arc uh, of the of of hiding the killing that they did of the of her of uh what's her name's boyfriend. Um, like how he was like, oh yeah, and if you uh, he tells the one cop, he's like, if you say anything, we'll forward all the bank records to you. It's like, what bank? What are you talking about? <laughs> like, it seemed a little sloppy, but they had, I think they had to put a bow on that somehow. And it, it was, it was kind of fun to see him involved in that cover up. I don't, know, I, I, I liked it. I, it was, it's, it's definitely not as, is, I think I gave the first one a nine. And this is nowhere near that. So I'm grading each season on its own for this show. Uh, which I'll try to do more of. I, I kind of should do a Barry review, I feel like, and just uh, do a whole, I uh, just finished Barry as well, um, which I thought was, was I don't want to get into it now, but I liked it, but I didn't love it. I think as a lot of people did. Um, and Beef, was, I think I, I did do a podcast for Beef. I love Beef. That's my that's my TV rec going forward. Anyway, seven point seven and a quarter. I'm doing quarter now. Stars, not popcorn. So seven and a quarter. And this is a sh- this is a podcast that is not a podcast on the new website, which is just a website. 